Got some new batteries for Titan. Trying some HRB LiPos from Amazon. And I got three break-in flights and I've individually charged them. So I'm ready to cut her loose. The last time I flew this was on the um, Turnigy batteries from my um, Line 700, which they have some age on it. So I think I got like maybe low 90s, like 92 mile an hour with those batteries on this flight right here. I know up to. That was a pretty good run. .2. Those Turnigees have been very good batteries for me. Um, never had a problem with them as far as the power they put out. So I'm going to do a speed run again with this now that I got these broke in, I think that'd be a real good indication of what kind of power Hold mode. these are putting out. There's a speed run. Let's see how this holds up for no sagging. See any issues with that?
Lots of pull. Lots of balls. That was sweet. And I only pulled an 84 and a half out of her. It's interesting. Feel like I got plenty of power. It's a lot hotter day today. I don't know how much difference temperature makes, but I can tell you this much. You heard the bird fly. I have zero complaints. Or is any kind of sag how much power these batteries are putting out. I thought that would be the ultimate test though, would be the top end. Alright, fresh charge. I'll try this again. I wonder about a lot of things. Wonder about air temperature. Then I also wonder about new batteries. At what point are they releasing all their power? So I've got three break-in flights individually charged, flew it easy, never went past idle one. So I just now did that run. So that's the first time I really hit these things. So yeah, like I said, I wonder about a lot of things. Probably air temperature more than anything else. Hold mode. But we'll run them, see how how they do. I know they feel good. There it is, V bar initialized. Twelve cells. All right, and let's reset that GPS. Let's go, uh, let's do a run both ways this time. It only went one way last time. Nothing else, it gives me two runs. It's the other part of Helly's is getting the right angle. Um, it's called translational lift. So too far forward, it's just how much pitch does a Heli have and how much um, RPMs on the head. And then you reach a point where 
you flatten it out, you can still hold full throttle. It's pushed forward pretty good, but you're, as it's traveling through there, it's translating into left, translational left. So there is an optimal angle on that. So let's do, like I said, two runs. We'll see. See what we get. These will be just two speed runs. No fooling around. See what kind of speed. See if they see if they just do better because they're gonna be waking up a little bit more. Alright. GPS is zeroed out. And we're off. It's fast. Oh, ho, ho. don't ask whether it's my flying, the battery's breaking in. Let's catch the angle right. Those really felt like good runs. But there you have it. 93.8. So these guys just topped what I did with the turnages. Like I said, it tells me the turnages are healthy. 92.2 so that's good to know and these are strong 93.8 I'm not sure why on that last run only got 84 and a half whether it was my flying or this battery just haven't woke up I've heard that said before that the uh, chemistry takes a little bit to get it get them uh, get everything working but that for my money Pretty daggone impressive helicopter run.